Welcome back to my channel. I am Keisha Jabri and today I'm just going to be showing you guys this hairstyle that I put in. As you guys know, I have not really been showing my natural hair. So this video is, 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 is you know what I mean? This is just something new right here. But um, yeah, I'm just showing you guys how I've been trying to style my hair while it's in this transition state. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, make sure to thumbs this video up. And also comment down below and tell me what you guys want to see next. And also subscribe to my channel because my cash baby's lit. And if you subscribe, then you will it too. And that's all. Period. But let's just hop right into this video. Okay, so this is the room that I'm gonna be filming in. It don't look like nothing right now, but this is my filming room. And this is gonna be my first video filming in my filming room because I'm doing a hair tutorial for you guys. Ow. I'm doing a natural hair video for you guys. And today, I think what I wanna do is a half of half down. Not a half of half down, but it is a half of half down. But it's half up, half down with two ponytails. If you guys have not watched my life update and um, me revealing my natural hair video, as you guys know, my natural hair is damaged. With that being said, my hair is mostly damaged in the front. So I figured if I could have a hairstyle in the front and the back is out, it'll look normal or it'll look, you know, you won't really be able to tell much. Yeah. It shouldn't be too hard though. I know my hair look like super nasty and super crusty and super disgusting and probably look stank and it probably look it probably look like a lot of things. But one thing that is not is hard to manage because I can do my hair real quick, real quick. Yeah, once I really apply water onto my hair, it just pretty much does what I want it to do. So that is the great part about my natural hair. But yeah, let's just get started. Okay, I'm back and I got basically all the things that I need to do for this hairstyle. Boom. So I think what we're going to start off by doing is just wetting my whole head and detangling it because that's just going to make everything super duper easy from there. Of course, what you're going to need is a spray. Ooh. You're going to need a spray bottle. I got this one from Sally's because I saw a lot of people talking about it. So I went and got it because it like sprays for you. You don't have to keep, you know what I mean? Go get it. It was like $10, I think, but it's so worth it. But yeah, I think I'm just going to start off by detangling my hair section by section and then we'll start the styling process this is so crazy this is like my first natural hair video back and it feels so weird because i don't know but i'm happy because i got such positive feedback from my videos no negative comments whatsoever like that's crazy so i'm excited i feel like now i'm kind of now that i got over that little hump of just showing you guys what it looked like i'm kind of good now because I've been kind of accepted my, dang, I keep saying kind of. I think I've been accepted my damage. It was just more so showing y'all and just showing people as a whole. So now that that is kind of over, I feel like I can move forward. Like, so yeah, this is like the first step of that. So I'm excited. Before I ever detangle my hair, I always have some type of product in it. It doesn't matter what it is, but just something because detangling your hair dry is just, I don't know, that's a different kind of pain. <laughs> the only way I ever detangle my hair when it's not um, wet or not have product in it is when I just took out some braids or something like that and I just wanna have my hair partially detangled already before I get into the shower because you know, you run the risk of your hair getting matted. So that's pretty much the only time I ever detangle my hair dry. I would not ever advise anybody with curly hair to um, detangle their hair. Woo! Detangle their hair dry. The damage in the back, as you guys can see, like you can see it, but it curls up. The damage in the front does not curl up whatsoever. I'm just gonna wet this section some more and then I'm gonna twist it up and I'm gonna keep going from there. My hands hurt so bad. Wow, I see nothing has changed. This is still the most rough part of my head. And no, it, it doesn't matter what I do. Like the middle of my head be so tangled for no reason. Like so tangled. My hands hurt so bad, y'all. I literally did like 300 glosses. I had help, of course, but still did 300 glosses last night and I still got like another 300 to make 
I just like to be prepared when it comes to my business and stuff like that. So I try to do things ahead of time. And y'all, my hands hurt. Like when I got into the shower last night after I was working, we was literally working for like seven hours straight. When I got into the shower after that, like the water was stinging my hand because it was like so, so tender. It doesn't feel as bad today, but it's, it's more sore than it is anything right now. But it still hurts. I feel like I got a whooping on my hands. Like that's what it feel like. Um, if you don't see me putting product on these sections, just know it's because it's already enough product on my hair just from doing my hair um, through the days. As you guys can see, like it's coming through the twist. So yeah, may just make sure when you're doing your hair there's some type of slip or some type of something on your hair so it's just not your hair against the brush because baby, let me tell you, that brush gonna win and your hair gonna break off. My hair is so thick right here. Okay, so now that I have all of my hair detangled, what I'm gonna do now is, first of all, take out these twists. So, yeah, as you guys can see, like my damage is mostly in the front. Like, the back region, you can see it, but it's not as distinct as it is in the front. So now what I'm going to do is just section off my hair half up, half down. I'm going to be using a rat tail to, um, to do that. The reference I try to use for my half up, half down hairstyles is I like to have them to come right behind my ear. I just bring it right behind my ear. That's where I stop the um, part. And that is my reference for my half up, half downs. And it's important to me, just this hairstyle in particular, to have the part to be straight because these sections in the front are gonna be pulled up like in a ponytail. So you're gonna actually be able to see the parts. So that's why it's important. Any other time, like if the hair is gonna be going backwards, I don't care about the part because who's who's really gonna see it? So now that I have those sections sectioned off, what I'm gonna do is start sectioning off the back of my head and just start to define my curls, the ones that are left. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna be doing that. My process for that really haven't changed. The products are gonna be a little bit different, but the process that I use for my curls it, it, it really haven't changed. So what I'm gonna do is take some moisturizer. Ooh, make sure that the hair is moisturized. Oh, also, I didn't tell you guys what moisturizer I'm using. I'm using the TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner. I actually got this from Marshalls and it was only $10. You can check your local Target for these products as well. And I'm using the same, from the same line, I'm using the TGIN Rose Water Curl Defining styling gel i think it's from the same collection because they're both pink i could be wrong but um yeah i'm gonna be using the styling gel now to define my hair and what i do is basically just run my fingers through my curls in this process i won't be using the brush at all like when it comes to defining my curls i don't use a brush um i just like to use my fingers that's just how i get the best result i'm gonna separate the curls normally i would just let my curls clump up but since you know I have damage, I kind of want to keep everything to where I can see it. And when it clumps up, you don't know later if it's gonna turn into frizz or what. So I'm gonna separate it and go through each curl and make sure that it's coated with the styling gel. 
And that's all I'm gonna be doing for the back of my head, literally. The curls, they not all that right now. They are not all that, but y'all gonna see how it comes together. You can really use any styling gel you want to use for this process. I would not recommend um, the green eco styling gel. I know that's what a lot of naturals have just on stand, but I wouldn't recommend that. Um, I don't really think that's too much of a styling gel for defining curls. That's more for like slicking down our hair. I would recommend the gold gel for this process or maybe even the, um, what is the other one? What is it called? Um, I would recommend the flaxseed one or either the gold one because those two, in my opinion, are best for curls. So this is what my curls are looking like currently. They will get tighter as it dries. For the most part, this is pretty much what they're gonna be giving. <laughs> um, I do miss my natural curl pattern. It, it's kind of, it, it's coming in at the top. It's a little bit more curly than the bottom, but I miss it so much, like so much. Y'all know I love my natural hair, like I miss it so much, but we just gotta make it do what it do for the time being. Okay, so I am now done with defining my curls in the front. So now what I'm gonna do is take these bad boys down in the back. Well, I think I'm just gonna work on one section at a time because I don't wanna mix up this hair with the back hair. So yeah, I'm just making a part straight down the middle. What I'm gonna do now is spray my edges. And all of this, child, all of this stuff that gotta go up into the ponytail, you want it to be wet. And now, we're going to use some of your handy dandy eco salad gel. Um, I'm just going to be putting this all right here. I'm going to take a bristle brush and brush my hair into, like it's about to go into a ponytail, basically. So now what I'm going to do is put my hair into a ponytail. Now in this process, you can go ahead and pull back down your baby hairs. If they really baby hairs, they won't be hard at all to pull out of your ponytail. That's why I don't really be worried about it no more. Um, now these over here, they're not baby hairs. I'll be having to pull them down. But yeah. Um, you can go ahead and pull your baby hairs out. I'm not going to style them right now. I'm just having them out. And that's what we're looking like. I'm going to do the same exact thing on this side. Okay, so we got our two ponytails now. Um, now what I'm going to do is just basically perfect my hair. Um, I'm going to be using some edge control to perfect my hair because I don't know why. I, I 
been feeling edge control lately. It's been helping me a lot. So I'm gonna just go over the part and all of this to just make sure everything is sleek. I'm not using too much. I'm just using how much ever can fit onto the toothbrush. Um, so yeah. And I'm using the ORS Olive Oil Edge Control. I got it from Target, I think. So because my damage is so apparent in the front, what I'm gonna do is I'm going I think I'm gonna band to knot these or maybe like create a bun. Mm. How does that look? It's making my head look super big right now. But it's okay, we gonna pull through. That's cute! It's gonna be super cute once I get done with my edges. Now, it's edge time. I think I should've pulled these out beforehand. But now it's edge time. Y'all know I like to go all in with my edge, with my edges slash baby hairs. I'm just gonna be doing the normal swoop-de-swoop. -swoop. I already have a baby hair tutorial on my channel. I do my baby hairs different every single time, so it's probably not gonna be super accurate to you know that video in particular, but I don't really do nothing special. Just swooping, just like everybody else in America right now. Even the people who ain't even supposed to be swooping. Okay, so this is what my hair is looking like right now. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and put on some makeup and come back to you guys when my hair is a little bit more dry. But it's super cute right now, this is so cute. I think I'm gonna take pictures tonight. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take pictures tonight. It's been a minute since I took pictures in my hair. So I for sure gotta get some pictures tonight. Okay, but yeah, I'll come back when I'm done with the full glam. <laughs> this is what my hair looks like it looks so cute okay anyways but yeah just a little hairstyle whatever i did a little makeup not too much though it's none on my forehead at all but my face i just covered up my little marks but it's so cute i'm gonna just go out and give me some food but if you enjoyed this video make sure to choose thumbs this video up and also comment down below and tell me what you guys want to see next and also subscribe to my channel because my cat's baby's lit i'm lit and if you subscribe then you can be lit too and that's on period and i got melanin nude on my lips don't play with her okay but anyways i'm gonna see y'all in the next video 